Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's May. I just realized the pitch in which I said guys and I dislike it, but whatever. Today I am going to do a video that I have seen a couple of other accounts doing and I really thought it would be a fun video to make and that is my top five star predictions where I show books that I haven't read yet that are on my TBR list that I think I will end up giving five stars. I don't really like the star rating, but since I do use the Goodread app to track all of my reading, which I will link below if you want to follow me by the way, but since I use that app and they do have the star rating, I like to kind of give stars to the books I finish. Typically I don't give over four stars, so this is kind of a video that I thought would be interesting for me to see back after I read these books to see if I actually did give them five stars. I have three books to talk about today, and many of them are kind of like popular or like new releases, so I'm sure people won't be surprised that they're in this video, but whatever. Also, I'm trying a new kind of background. Again, background lighting is different and it will probably change when I go back to my house. So let's get started. So the first book is actually the second book in a series, and it is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. I read Six of Crows last summer and I loved it. I do think I gave that 5 out of 5 stars. If not, it was at least 4.5 out of 5 stars. And I really love the way Leigh Bardugo writes, even though I only read that one book. Um, I really found that I just connected with her writing and their characters were great. I love all of them, Kaz and Inej and Jasper and Matthias uh, and Waylon are great characters. I really love Jasper and I'm excited to see what happens to them in this book. This is the second book in the series. It's also a part of a larger world universe, the Grisha series, which I have Shadow and Bone at home to read. And I would have included that one in here as well because I think I will probably end up giving that five stars. Um, but it's not here, so theoretically I guess it's in this video. Again, like to go into books blind, so I don't know too much about what happens in this, but the cliffhanger that was left in the last book was enough to make me know I need to read this. The reason I haven't started it is because I've been busy with school, but I probably will start it this summer and hopefully give it 5 out of 5 stars. Next book is definitely a book I'm really excited about and I've already talked about being excited about and it's Obsidio, the Lunai File series. This is by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and if you haven't read the Alumni books, you really should. I think they're great. Uh, the first one is actually I, not the best. It's only three out of five stars if I'm doing the star rating. It, I did not like the characters, but the second one is so good. It's really well executed and I'm really excited to read this one. I'm hoping it is just as good as the second one, if not better, and hopefully it'll be one of those series that improves because those are the best series. I'll give it 5 out of 5 stars unless it disappoints me and the ending is bad. And if the ending is bad, then I will be crushed and heartbroken. But at least the cover is pretty and beautiful and I have it to look at on my shelves even if I end up hating it. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. The last book I have to talk about is another new release and it is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adyemi. This I'm really excited to read because it is based on African folklore if I'm correct and it is a fantasy book and it just sounds so interesting. It kind of reminds me from reading the uh, cover description a little bit of Six of Crows in the Grisha universe where there's magic users and they control like certain elementals but um, I've heard a lot of people really love this book. The cover is gorgeous. I'm super excited to read it. I always love being able to hear folklore from other cultures, specifically like cultures you don't hear a lot of because they just don't get recognized a lot. And I'm pumped for this book. I really hope I love it. Again, it's in this video, so I'm really hoping I give it 5 out of 5 stars. Um, I will probably have a, a review for this book, actually. Um, depending on the time I have to review it, but I don't know. I'm really excited for this. If you have read it or any of these books and you love it, like, please let me know. No spoilers, though. I will be very angry. And even if they disappointed you, like, just just let me know, I guess. Also, the copy I have has a freaking sticker I can't get off. <laughs> See? That's... It makes me so sad. 
I'll probably get it off when I go home, but whatever. Those are all the books I predict to give 5 out of 5 stars in my TBR. Hopefully I will get to all of these this summer, and hopefully I will be able to update you guys soon about what I actually think. If you are curious, again, I will link my Goodreads down below and we can make, be friends on there. I update every book I'm reading on Goodreads if I can. And then if you want to follow me on other social medias, I have a bookstagram here and also linked down below and a Twitter. Please feel free to follow me there. I'll probably follow you back. If you really like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and hit that notification bell so you know when I post. YouTube has been doing this crazy thing where it won't alert people on your subscription feed, which I'm a small YouTuber, so that doesn't bother me as much. Um, but just so you're aware, if you really do want to see my videos, please make sure you hit that. But I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! Ugh, why do chokers... Why do chokers turn backwards?